What this policy is designed to do is to break the business model. At the moment, the people smugglers get paid on delivery. They get paid in part by uh, getting people to make this journey and they get the final payment when people arrive on our shores. And the reality at the moment is that as soon as someone has set foot uh, here in the White Cliffs, then it's extremely difficult uh, for them to be removed. And what this policy is doing is it's saying to people who are inclined to pay people smugglers, don't bother. If you want to come to the UK, you are welcome to apply through a safe and legal route to work, to study and to seek refuge. It's not the right thing to do to pay people smugglers to go this unlawful and dangerous route where lives are put at risk. So don't do it. Apply the right way. So if you're an asylum seeker from, say, Iran, which is one of, the, of the, one of the countries where a lot of these people trying to cross the channel comes from, what is the safe and legal route that they should follow then to apply for asylum in the UK? Well, people who are asylum uh, seeking asylum can apply in a number of ways. But what we've seen across the channel, and I think the Home Secretary and her French counterpart have said this on countless occasions, the majority of people who are coming in into our country across this particular route are people who they have designated to be economic migrants, people who are coming into this country who are already safe in France and many other countries before France, and so have no need to get into that flimsy dinghy in the first place, have no need to pay the people smugglers and shouldn't be doing so. They should be seeking refuge in France if they are in need of refuge. Natalie, and many what, other what, what is, before sorry, France, sorry, and France do Natalie, provide just... that safe place of refuge for people who are there and many other countries, as of course does the UK. Yeah, but what is the legal route for someone to apply to asylum in the UK if they're coming from a country well, like the, Iran? Well, the, the, there are countless uh, ways in which people because seek refuge, because... and that depends on the route in which they are coming at, as you know. And what we know by in across this particular channel route is that by very, very large numbers, about 70% of people who are estimated to take this route are what are classified by the French and UK authorities as economic migrants. So it's really, really important that we say to people, if you want to work, you're very welcome to apply to work and study in the UK, but you've got to take the safe and legal routes.